Hi, this is Brian Hudson of the Kingsman. I'm with Harold Reed, our tenor uh, with the Kingsman. And uh, uh, we're in the studio today at Crossroads uh, recording a special uh, compilation CD that will, as uh, is is like a tribute to Squire Parsons. And uh, Squire, for me personally, uh, he was what helped get me hooked on quartet music back in 1977. Uh, he was a part of the Kingsman Quartet for a few years in 1977. My dad came home with a uh, eight track tape of the Kingsman Chattanooga Live and Squire was singing baritone on it and uh, the very the second song on there, I love the name of Jesus uh, one of the greatest voices I'd ever heard and I was like a young kid and and then uh, later on getting getting involved in gospel music and getting to meet Squire and uh, getting to realize all the songs that he wrote uh, was just phenomenal and uh, my early days of the Kingsman and, and the early, you know, late 90s recorded several of uh, Squire's songs and we chose uh, You're Not Alone that went number one for the Kingsman back in about 98 or so we, were, we chose that to uh, you know, contribute to this recording and we're honored to be a part of it Squire wrote a lot of songs for the Kingsman and such a even though he left the Kingsman in 1979 uh, he's still a major part of the group even to this day and uh, we uh, are honored to be on this part of this recording. But Harold uh, Harold actually worked for Squire for some time, so I want to give him some insight. Yeah, uh, when I got out of high school in uh, 1989, um, you know, everybody's looking for a job when they get out of high school. Man, did I ever, I couldn't ask for a better job than what I got, and that was to go to work with Squire Parsons. And uh, you stand back and you see people from afar, and you, you, you think, what a great person that, that must be. But to be on the bus with him, and to realize that he's exactly the same all the time. He's a true gentleman, a true man of God. And uh, like Brian said, the, the songs that Squire has written over the years, um, yeah, he mentioned the lovely name of Jesus. Every night I would worry him to death. Squire, I, we had a request for the lovely name, and he eventually figured it out that it was me wanting to hear it. But uh, getting to be around Squire, Squire was a big influence in my uh, singing career and in my life. Um, he, he, I've always said if you want to learn how to be on the road, there's two people you need to learn from. One of them is Ed O'Neill. Uh, that, that was my first real singing job. But the other one was Squire Parsons because he, te he taught me how to become a man the right way, how to do it with, with grace and with just treating people the right way. I mean, he's, he's one of the best people that I know. I respect him probably as highly as anybody I do in this business. Um, he gave me a job when nobody else did, and nobody else probably should have, being 18 <laughs> years old. But uh, always getting to be around Squire was was it was really a lot of fun. It was a great learning experience, um, and, and just the songs that that he wrote, you know, they they hit people. They affected me all through my whole life, and uh, I'm just glad that we could come in the studio, record "You're Not Alone." Uh, I always thought that was a great song, and uh, just to be a part of this uh, recording for Squire, um, I'm truly honored to uh, be able to pay some type of respect and homage to uh, probably the greatest songwriter, probably one of the greatest singers to ever be in this business, and that's Squire Parsons. You're not alone, Jesus. Prepared. Let's get woke up. We sung this song a million times. Huh? <laughs> Sound good. There's room at the cross <clears throat> for Um, 
Randy, uh, just to give it some body, sing it an octave down. Okay. There's room. Okay. Let me just see what it sounds like. Cause oh. It just it, it, okay. it sounds a little weird now. Sounds a little clinky. No, I mean everybody sing unison. Oh. Y'all sing the high too. There's room. Big solo there. George Beverly. Woo! George Beverly. Just let him roll. Now let him. Sounds better to that me. Sounds more quartet. That idea. That sounds more quartet. And you sang Bertone a full voice, solo. didn't you? Yeah. Which I think There's that's. Room yeah. At the cross. Yeah. If he, yeah. I was just thinking if he's going to be going. There's room. I, you can't. Somebody has to sing a little so, bigger. Well, and you've been sounding like that for the whole song, so yeah. you need to keep that the, full thing. I got another question. Yeah. <laughs> that line that just about killed me. Just speak his name. Yeah. Will that transfer over to the next line? I believe it will. It's, I think it's the same key, I think so. yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I can do that one more time. Yeah. Son, we, we're looking out for you in here at The Rock. <laughs> you're at The Rock. No, man. Yeah. Got barn on it over here. Oh, man. We, we, we got two rules. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Rule number one, see. Get, uh, there's room at the cross for you, Unison, uh, octave. And that next line was good, and then let's punch in on for you. So sing along. This is good here. He's my There we go. <clears throat> Very nice. 